this is a quick video to show you how the V-Ray uh, sound system works in V-Ray for Rhino. Um, so basically this is a scene without any sound at all. And there are two ways to create V-Ray sound. Both are V-Ray sound. The name is, is, is different, but the actual uh, properties are the same. The first uh, method is using the uh, Rhino or the sound icon inside the V-Ray uh, toolbar. If I click there, I have a, a sound panel where I could select a manual position or I could select a real world position. In this case, I'm going to use a manual position. I'm going to move the sun a little bit to um, any angle and then I'm going to apply the sun there. To be physically correct, I need to also uh, apply the sun in the uh, environment, GI skylight and in the background. So I'm going to go back on the sky if you notice here, we have basically two sun. Rhino document sun is the uh, the sun that you could use uh, through the uh, sun command in the Rhino command prompt, or sun one is the actual sun that we just create. I'm going to select the sun that we just create and click OK. Select the same um, mode and sun in the background and click OK. I'm going to click render right now. My scene is going to be overexposed because um, we basically have the scene um, set up for uh, interior setup. My scale is not in the, in the correct scale. So uh, uh, let's say that this is the correct exposure. I'm not going to mess with the exposure right now. I just want to um, give you an idea how to create the sun and all this stuff. So I'm going to um, create the same sun um, using the uh, Rhino document sound. So to use a Rhino document sound, I have to click to uh, type sound in the command prompt, and I could see this um, sound panel that I could dock in uh, in my other properties property panels. Um, if I enable this sound, now I could manually or even in real world uh, uh, coordinate, I could set up set up the sound. So I'm gonna place the sound in this position. And click render so you can see what is what is happening. So basically, I have now two sound in my scene. So I have the Rhino document sound, which is creating these shadows in front of my um, uh, camera, plus my second shadow, which is created by the actual sound that we made. So right now, we could say that we have two sound in the scene. We don't want to do that. So if we want to just have the Rhino document sound, we have to go to the environment options and replace the sun by the Rhino document sun. Click OK and do the same thing in the background. This is the sun that we could create using the sun panel in Rhino. So click OK and one more step. We have to disable the sun um, that we manually made. So I go to the options and disable the sun and click render again and you're going to see that we only have now one sun which is the which is the rhino document sun the shadows here are kind of sharp because the sun multiplier is set to one so if we want to affect that shadows you have to be careful to not change the setting of the sun that you have disabled in this case we are using the rhino document sun so we have to change the uh, options to this sun remember again don't change the options to the uh, sound that you manually create, which is sound one, because this is not going to affect the actual sound that we are using, which is Rhino document sound. Okay, so we have to go to the environment again and Rhino document sound, change the size of the sound. I'm going to exaggerate the effects a little bit, so I'm going to put 20 and click OK. I don't have to do the same thing on the background because we have linked now the sun in the skylight with the sun in the background. So you don't have to change the setting in, in both area. Okay, so I'm gonna click render now. You're gonna see that the shadows now are blurry because I increase the size of my sun, right? Blurry shadows, the same thing happened with the, uh, with the other sun. So I'm gonna cancel the render I'm going to disable the Rhino document sun. Turn this sun on, off. And I'm going to change to the sun that we just made, manually made, 
I'm going to increase and multiply the size to 20. Again, change in the background to sun 1, and you can see that the size is already 20 because we changed that on the on the skyline. And this, this sun is disabled because we did it previously, so I have to enable the sun. You can actually see that the size of this sun is, is 20 because we changed that on the environment. So you could use either the environment setting or the, the light settings on the Rhino property tab. Okay, I'm going to change the sound a little bit to have shadows in the front ground and click render. And you're going to see that our shadows are blurry now. See, those two sun are exactly the same. So if we select the properties in both sons to match each other, we are going to have exactly the same effect. The difference between both sons basically is that the one that you use, the toolbar, the V-Ray toolbar, you're going to have a physical representation in your viewport. The other son, you are not going to have a physical representation in the viewport. So it's going to be basically like invisible son. Um, so again, if I go back to my size and change these options back to one, I'm going to have, let me uh, use my history, save this option in the history. I'm going to uh, have sharp shadows back. So I'm going to set this as a B so you can see the difference between the sun size one and the sun size two. So this is a basic um, information how the V-Ray sun system works and how the V-Ray document sun actually works also. Hope this is useful for you. Bye-bye.